Well, hi, Calvary Chapel South Bay. This is Pastor Jeff, and I want to give you a little bit of an update. Now, we're going to do these periodically until we get through this time of lockdown for coronavirus, and I want to give you a little information that will be helpful for you as to why we're doing at this church what we're doing. Uh, you may have heard other churches have opened up. You may have heard that other churches have no mask. You may have heard a lot of things. I want to remind you that Los Angeles County is not Imperial County. It's not Riverside County. Not San Diego County or Orange County, it's Los Angeles County, and Los Angeles County is where we live. In light of that, I would also draw your attention to the fact that we are under a statewide order, and that statewide order is very, very specific. And, and to that end, I want to share with you a little bit about what happens to me every day. Um, I get several pieces of paper, one of them I'm holding in my hand, the next one I'll actually show you. And this tells me that there were 2,364 brand new cases of COVID-19 today. Uh, there were 47 deaths today. I get these sometimes more than once a day, but always once a day. Um, we, we've passed the 3,000 death mark. Uh, we, we've looked at so many things here in this church as to what do we do uh, with this order that seems to be affecting everyone. And I, I simply want to speak to you uh, along the lines of why we're doing what we're doing. You may have heard, and we're very proud to announce, that we're opening up the church uh, to three live services. That's our men's study, our women's study, both morning and evening, and also our marriage study. And the reason we're doing that is we can do those effectively. And here's why. We're under current orders, and I want to show you uh, that order right now. It's very clearly not something that is a suggestion. Matter of fact, not only is it not a suggestion, it's a law. And this is the law for the state. It applies to every single county, every jurisdiction. And so the reason I want to share this with you is it says very clearly at the top as we enter stage three, which is where we are now, hoping to open in stage four completely with no restrictions, uh, that I want to read to you a simple line. Please read this order carefully. It starts, Violation of or failure to comply with this order is a crime punishable by a fine, imprisonment, or both. California Health and Safety Code Section 12095 and Los Angeles County Code 11.02.080. Now, why am I sharing that with you? Because this particular piece of paper is what we're governed by. And because we believe that Romans 13, we believe that Paul writing to uh, his young understudy Timothy, we believe that Peter in his epistles, we believe that Jesus himself said that we're supposed to follow those governing orders, those people that have been placed over us. What does that look like for us? Well, here's what it looks like for us. And, and I again, will show it to you. Uh, it's very clearly written out. Uh, it is not ambiguous in any way, shape, or form. It is a law. It is not up to us to interpret it. No one has the right to transcend it. Uh, no one can make it different than what it is. It says what it says. And the reason I'm showing that to you is this. It says, attending all in-person faith-based services, providing that the gathering of congregants is limited to the lower of 25% of the total maximum occupancy or occupant load for that building. We have exactly one building occupancy here, or 100 people, or whichever is less. That is for every church, that's every building, and that applies not just to, to churches, but that same uh, logic has been taken for movie theaters, that's why they're not open, and many other places. And so we are going to try and open up church services to those things, which we believe we can do by following this law, hence the Two ladies study, we may have to do three, the men's study and the marriage study, which last night uh, had about 80 people attending. And because we need staff to cause these uh, services to be able to be broadcast and do sound and worship and all those kind of things, um, we're looking for those things. And so we will open up the church to larger versions of service as soon as we are able to do that. Uh, we also want you to know uh, that because our sanctuary holds 2,250 at a minimum, and we can only have 100 in here, and we need 20 staff, it makes no sense to have 100 people come here 
turn around and then do dozens and dozens and dozens of service with still having to turn away 90% of the body that attends here at Calvary Chapel South Bay. So while we're still under this stage three version of this order, we're going to continue to meet in our main services online. We've also instituted our watch party. So we want you to join our watch parties, invite some people that are in your social group. We still have an order that says we must social distance. We must wear masks. These are not options for us. And so we'll do those things, but you at home do not have to do those things where you are around people that you know and have been around this whole time we've been locked down. So invite your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, people that you know that once they're in your house, they can take those masks off and you can have church with us together uh, on Thursday nights, Sunday mornings, and Sunday nights. I pray this helps. We pray it also changes very quickly but we are still looking at stage four coming in the future. It hasn't hit us yet. And so here in the month of July, which is coming up, uh, we're going to continue to meet this way. Please go to our website, ccsouthbay.org uh, forward slash connect, connect with us so that we can get the word out. If there's a change and we can have live services with more people, the governor changes that order or the county changes that order. We will do our best to change that order instantaneously and begin to have more people here in the church. Uh, we're grateful for you. We thank you for continuing to be so faithful to this ministry. We want to be faithful to you, and we want to make sure that you're safe. And so these things we are doing to keep you safe. This is the best practices that we know, and we're gonna do them to the best of our ability. We pray that you're blessed. Hang in there. God's got this. God bless you guys.